In this lesson, we're going to go over the twist command. You can find it in your brush palette. If you scroll down, you'll see twist. So let's go ahead and dock this. Now you would think that the twist command would work on any brush, but really not so much. <laughs> As you can see here, what it's really built for is the spiral and the fold brushes. For instance, if you use spiral, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. it twists your geometry, which is kind of cool, but on anything other than a DynaMesh, you'll pretty much ruin your geometry. If you turn the poly faces on, you can see what it's doing. It's, uh, it's kind of destroying it, so, so I'd recommend only using this with DynaMesh. Let's go and turn that on and get rid of our sublayers. Okay, so it creates some pretty cool patterns. However, you'll run into the issue that you know you can't seem to get it to properly spin on flat surfaces and that's basically because it's camera sensitive See, it spins based on where the camera is and facing your actual model so if you're looking at your object straight on it's just gonna spin in place but if you position your camera at an angle and then spin it'll twist properly now that's actually just the spiral brush. We've also got the fold brush. So what does it do? As you can see, it acts a lot like a seam brush in that uh, it kind of folds over your geometry. So um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. So you could definitely use it in stuff like clothing. Okay, Let's go ahead and switch back. So what about the settings? You've got twist rate, centrugal force, and orbit radius. Basically twist rate is how fast it spins, centrugal force is how much it grabs, and the radius is how much of a fall off it has. So if we were going to look at that, go to the top of the mesh, and increase the size of the brush a little bit. Okay, so 0.2 is the standard. We're going to increase that up to 1. Alright, <laughs> forgot. Actually got to look at it from an angle. Okay, and that's what it does at 1. Okay, put that back at point 0.2, same direction. See, it's much bigger. What about centrugal force? It's set at point 0.09, so let's put it up at 1. Tilt the camera, and spin. See what it's doing? It's grabbing a whole bunch of geometry and pulling it towards the center. In other words, it's expanding its radius. But then what about the actual radius itself? Well, that's the fall off. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, and we're going to increase the radius to 2. Look at it from the same center. Ta-da! <laughs> There's practically no fall off. It basically just grabs everything and clunks it together. Okay, so that is the twist rate, centrugal force, and radius. Honestly, you can keep these at their base settings, but uh, they are kind of fun to play with. You can create some really, really cool results with this thing. Anyway, that is the twist command.